How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Tazastical, this is RimWorld, let's get to it. So, we've got a clean up job to do and hopefully all these bodies will get burnt today, which will be nice. We've obviously got to clean up a lot of the colony, but our colony's had a lot of illnesses of late. Ayamira is the last one, or oh, as I went to click on him, I'm absolutely missed, embarrassing. But he's got the immunity, so that won't take too long, obviously it affects movement a little bit. So, clean up job, we need more wood and stuff in the stockpile just so we can actually fuel our generators. Other than that, we do have, where are you, where are you, where are you? We do have a mech cluster, so priority for this episode is actually going to be worrying about getting armour and stuff like this. Now, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't a massive um, deal because we don't actually come this far down the base anyway because as zones that we've actually got set up, if I can get the right bar, they're down here anyway. So we don't go over there anyway. So what we're going to do is basically put this on like priority level four. We want to get rid of it because obviously we're on Cassandra, the highest difficulty. The problems that... I get as a new person and other new people get is you'll get this and then you'll get other things that start popping up as well as so suddenly something as little as this isn't little anymore and it becomes quite a big deal because obviously it then stops us from doing stuff along with let's say we had another mech cluster drop and another so suddenly you've got more problems than obviously what you had before which creates obviously crazy crazy problems um Okay, I was just making sure them bodies were going to get burnt, but luckily they are. Obviously, we have a lot of cleaning up to do. On getting armour and stuff, electric smithy. Let's get one in here. A bulk good trader. That will be actually really, really nice. Hopefully, we can sell some stuff, if nothing else. Or, you know, buy some really good resources. Where are they? Okay, and I don't mind if our raiders come and um, trigger these and destroy them for us. That would be actually really, really nice. Probably a bit too lucky, but... Got some llamas. Okay, cool. Get our leader to come over trade. Let's see what they've got. Okay, lots and lots of stuff. So, as always, let's get rid of the stuff that we definitely don't care too much. I'm going to get rid of the camel hide, just because we haven't got enough to do too much with... And obviously with the amount of steel and stuff we have, it's not a massive problem. Um, pants we can keep. I was hoping to have a few more things to sell, but that looks about it. We don't actually have tons to work with. So, if we were to buy anything from them, what would we buy from them? I have a lot of meat. But it's not really going to do too much. So they do have components. I don't think they have anything we like super, super need or require at the minute, sadly. I'm wondering if we just pocket the cash. Let's buy some components because we know how components can sort of um, be a pain to get. So let's get them because then that's 10 components that we can add to the stockpile, which is always really, really nice. The defenses we do need to sort out. We'll probably risk it for a biscuit for one more episode just while everything else comes. Let's go on speed one, because I like going on speed one when I'm in menus and stuff in case anything happens. And let's get simple helmets made out of steel. And I'm going to do the same thing that we did with the clothes. So I always want six. And anything under 50% then make again. Did I do... Yeah, I did do six. For whatever reason, I thought I only put five. But yeah, that's fine. And then another statue. I think we're all statued... Just put one there. Might as well use it. If we've got statues staying around, we might as well. Um, Aisha, can you bring our components in? So that's 10 components. We ain't got to worry about mining and stuff like that. And they're the components that obviously... Or they're the bits that are pain to get eventually. So when we can buy them, we might as well. Other than that, everyone's sleeping. It's always quite boring when people... Oh, Amira, you can come down here now, my man. And then we can actually work on getting... I reckon we'll turn this into the rec room. It's going to be a bit jaggedy. 
Yeah, it's going to be a bit jaggedy. Saying that, we could have really used the silver and actually got all that silver from that to be able to get the sterile tiles out. I didn't really think about that. So, I'm sure you're asking why I'm not queuing up a lot of jobs. So, I'm trying to let everyone catch up with all their works so then they get to the point where they're hauling and cleaning. Now, you can have a full-time hauler and cleaner and that works really fine, but I always find the production loss is actually quite sad and irritable just for my own benefit. Where I actually find if you actually just don't queue up tons of stuff, because all the jobs get done, that means they've got more time to haul and clean so you can sort of get away with it. Obviously, that's not being the case at the moment, sadly. I'd love these statues to be a bit prettier than what they are being. I'll be honest, it's not really doing much for me. Yeah, we go. Let's see, Lobster's caught up with his tasks. So what are his tasks? So there's no more mining or art. So now he's going around cleaning, which is perfect. Wish I could put, like, prioritise. Because at the end of the day, everything outside needs to be cleaned as well, because it will still give people negative modifiers. Moods are going down, but a lot of their moods will be because the environment is dirty. They've walked past these dead bodies several times, which will upset people. I do wonder if it's worth getting the hospital bay up now and then just moving them beds straight away over rather than deconstructing them and then like rebuilding them down the line is what I'm thinking because the hospital is just too important it's so important to just have some medical beds so if someone gets ill gets malaria then they'll just rush straight to a bed so I'll probably just plan out I think something like that would be, probably be a bit overkill. Something like that I think would be more than enough. And then we can have a hospital. And I do like the fact that it's close to the base. I just want it a little bit inwards just in case obviously we have any fighting here. I don't want them to be able to come straight in and potentially kill people that are in our hospital bay. But the same thing, if there are injuries around here then we can quickly put people in here as well. An elephant is self-tamed. I mean, we will just slaughter them. We'll worry about animals down the line. Just want to make sure our food stocks are actually handling what we've got at the moment. They're probably just about too short. We've got so much steel at the moment, though. It's actually crazy. That's another reason why we need to make sure everything's clean, because now people are getting food poisoning because everything's so dirty. Okay. So let's extend this stockpile free spaces. Helmets are getting made, which is perfect. See, helmets aren't going to help us win wars or anything like that, but sort of better than nothing. Aisha, what's your problem? Are you going through withdrawals? I'm sure... Okay, can't click on it yet. Yeah, your withdrawals. Okay, we knew that was going to happen, and to be fair, that's the only negative colonist we actually have that has withdrawals and stuff like that. So if we can get you through that withdrawal, so then you do, you're not addicted anymore. We've got... Basically, everyone is 100% perfect... Um, What's the word? Production. Let's go to our leader. Oh, I wanted to use that work drive, but we haven't got it back yet. We're going to have to make this zone bigger. That's why we slaughtered their animals as well, because we didn't have enough fungus, and I don't really want to run out of food at this time. Um, I'm just getting nervous of making, obviously, one big zone with infestations but i think the thing with infestations if they happen they happen i don't know if there's going to be too much about it or too much that we're actually going to be able to do we just need armor and stuff up so we can actually if they're small enough we can just fight them in the corridors requesting resources 57 herbal medicine i mean like The thing is with the charity ones, I don't know if there's any point in doing them if your ideology isn't 
if you don't do charity anyway, it just seems to like not really even give a mood boost. But I could obviously be vastly mistaken. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Well, to be fair, you broke down and then dropped it on the floor. In my defence. Um, could do with obviously starting to make some melee weapons, but we can't really. If I pause it, what can we make out of? Let it just be our steel for the time being. Let's make two. Because we do need melee people. Aisha, how are you doing with your withdrawal 91? But you can see all the movement speed on her is very, very low and stuff like that. Which is a bit sad, but it is what it is. So yeah, this growing zone will make me nervous. I'm wondering whether to lead a gap, because I think this room here is going to end up being the most vulnerable to infestations because it is so dark. Wondered what that noise was. So I want more of a sp so how long is this? 15. Maybe just doing something like that. Because I don't want them right next to the production like thing, because otherwise they'll just mine in and then destroy everything in here. And that's a lot of components to get these things up. So if I look to build a curve, it'll just give us a little bit of room. And I might potentially want another stockpile here or something down the line. A mad tortoise. We should be okay because it should go straight towards them. That isn't the button I meant. Mad tortoise, jump to location. It should just go straight to them so we haven't actually got to deal with it, which would be obviously really, really nice, just so we don't have to waste our time. It's not like the deadly tortoise is going to kill us, but the deadly tortoise will be annoying. Yeah, there they go. I do need to queue up some more wood cutting. Luckily, there's a lot of trees right next to us that are here, since a lot of them have ringgrown, so at least then we don't have to go too far around the map. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I mean, it is going pretty well. Like, I hate to keep saying it, but... It's a pretty perfect... The awesome team is back. They just don't like us. They will use raiders. We have obviously got them... Although these ain't got any, like, crazy weapons. Okay, they've got grenades, 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 grenades. Okay, this could be painful. I am Miro. I'm going to wake up because we want to shut these doors, even though... Are they attacking straight away? They are attacking immediately. Okay. Let's get everyone out of bed. I mean, luckily we have somewhat of a defense, so it shouldn't be too... Well, you'd, you'd hope it wouldn't be too bad. I could probably put you over there. Yeah, let's just pull everyone out and then we can sort of go from there. These will obviously be a little bit of a distraction, hopefully. Yep. So Ayamira is just coming over here to shut the doors. While well, they're just blowing up everything. So our defences are probably going to go down. Which is fine. Lobster could probably get away with coming over there. They've got so much range, there's no point having them super close. Because it's just going to like work out worse for them, if you know what I mean. And I think after this attack, we'll sort out our defences. These will obviously do a little bit of damage for us, you would hope. Travellers betrayed. Well, I mean, that's not really all our fault. I don't even think they did any damage to help us, so... Uh, I think they grenaded themselves. Okay. There is eight of them. 
Yeah, it's the grenades that are going to be a pain. Um, I don't really want to stand and fight them, but... I don't know if we have much of a choice. Okay, purple, we're going to have to swap you over, because obviously the shotguns, I'm just realising, don't have as good of range. Should have equipped at all them helmets, but I don't actually think we have any. Oh, we had like one, okay. Okay, here they come. So they're going to destroy a lot of this, which is fine. I'm going to let them. Okay, and then here we go. So, I need you to push up one. We're going to use combat command. Then we're going to use... So basically all the grenade people that come through need to be stunned straight away, pretty much. You two need to take out that grenade person. Okay, I'm fine with them destroying this. It's annoying for resources, but it's less of a concern than obviously losing colonists and stuff like that. Um, you two might need to just back off a little bit. So it seems like you've got the brunt of their aggression. There we go. And they can still shoot from there, which is uh, lovely. Obviously, losing the mortar is pretty bad. Okay, purple, back out, back out, back out, back out. Back out, back out, move, move, move. Didn't move quick enough. Not great. Need to move back up. Another grenade coming in, move down. I don't know if he's going to move quick enough. Just about, just about. Nice, good work, guys. Uh, can you two still shoot? Yep. Yeah. Um, how are people doing for health? You're going to die in eight hours. Got to get Chef Tran up there as quick as possible. Uh, you can stump. Stump. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Yeah, perfect. Got him safe. Purple, what is your health? 22. 20 hours. Move up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We did, we did well. We did well. Yeah, we'll sort out this defence now. But we did get a lot of grenades from that, which is actually really, really important. We will have a look at the people that dropped. Although I don't think we'll take anyone. Steadfast, lazy, slow learner, pyromaniac. Like, I don't think we're going to be going for anyone like that. We can be picky, so we're going to be picky. Granite wall. Well, our defences sort of do go through the ringer in this base, that is for sure. Kind of, I keep forgetting actually how it was laid out where it keeps getting destroyed. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, we will sort this out because I think we could probably do it with it back a little bit. And we need it at an angle, so we will be sorting that out. First of all, let's make sure everyone is getting um, healed and whatnot. Because actually, after a successful attack like that, it'd be a shame to obviously lose anyone. Shatran, our leader did well. We did extra well, considering... Um, we didn't have any armour or stuff like that. Did really well. Really proud of the boys and girls. Crow, you're actually agitating me? Tender people? Jesus. Jesus! Like, it's not that bad that you have to let people die. Yeah, all these people are to just allow their bodies so at some point they'll get burnt and whatnot. Just so we don't get, obviously, um, negative modifiers every time we look past them. But, Cassandra is coming for us. She's showing us. So, as much as she wants to wipe us out, we need to not let her do it. So, just want to make sure... This bit is roofed, yeah, because it wasn't. Then I want clear roof area. No, no, the clear, remove roof here because we're going to redo this and we're going to push this back a little bit. Okay, mining's going on in here, which is lovely. 
defences are nearly straight back up. Which is, you know, as nice as you'd want it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, you're fixing that. How are our wounded soldiers doing? Fine, yeah, just resting up. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no massive injuries. No, no. Got left middle finger destroyed, but I'm pretty sure Purple had that already for a while. Chunks of spaceship have crashed nearby. Quite far away and right in front of the mechanoid cluster. Solar flare, a bit boring. Basically takes down all our power. I mean... These grenades? No, okay. If they were about to degrade, I was just about to wake everyone up then. So I don't really want to waste them just for the sake of it. But all in all, not too bad. Obviously, we can improve the defense, but now we know about it, it's not too bad. So what we can also do, deconstruct this bit. Thicken this side of the wall, because every time they've come at us, they've come and hit us here. And obviously they can't really come at us from this direction. They could come here. So I think sh like triple ply and this or whatnot, and then improving this. So at least when they push through down this way, we're much more prepared. Okay, first thing we want to do is haul all these grenades because they're really good. They'll help us deal with obviously tough, tough mama jummers. And it'd be a shame to lose them. Hold. Okay. Another thing that obviously helped us is because we were undercover, because we were um, under a roof, so they've got negative modifiers because they're out in the open, and obviously... Yeah, so we did okay. We did okay. Obviously, we can always do better, but in the grand scheme of things, we are alive. But yeah, let's sort. We need to sort this out. We did lose the art station, which is pro like not too bad to lose it in this situation. All right, what I want to do is actually plan the defense. One, two, three. It's not what I want. One, two, three, four. Something like that. I might plan this off camera, so not for next episode. It'll probably be for the episode afterwards. She really want to get this. Problem is, is the shotguns were still... Epic timber wolves. Let's have a look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Caravans. They've been harassed by 22 man hunting timber wolves. What is this power cell? Generates free energy forever without using fuel. Um, yes, please. Well, no one knows how it works. I think we do it for that. Right. So we've got a day, potentially, to get ready for that. Because obviously we'll lock ourselves in. So the only thing we need is wood. So if we can actually get everyone to haul wood, then we're actually fine to obviously stay in our mountain base. So let's get on speed free. Let's haul as much wood as we can. This cloth is probably going to deteriorate. And then we can lock ourselves in and get that power core, because that seems pretty awesome. Could have done with a bit more wood than that, not going to lie, not going to lie. I mean, we do have another day. Um, yeah. Power's just not sort of cutting the mustard at the minute, is it? I mean, I could try and set up some more tree cutting, but I don't think it's going to get done in time. Hi, Amira, come haul that wood. Lobster meditating. He's a good boy. What power sources do we actually have up at the moment? 
wind turbine, chem fuel, but can we produce chem fuel yet? No. Don't have that research yet, biofueling. Extend that zone already is. Yeah, it's just basically planning this bit, because the only problem that we have with obviously a straight line is if they run down here, it can sometimes block our line of sight. So unless we keep that bit, where's my planner? And then we go in. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll have something like that. But that seems really jaggedy. I mean, what I should actually do, let's play this properly. Put the roof up and leave this up. Until we do something, because I think what we're going to need to do is move the stonecutter's table and stuff like that. Because we could even expand our base and just come down here a little bit and then have all that down here, perhaps. Because it, it, it being in our kill box is a bit awkward anyway. Right, there we go. So extending our growing zone because we do need more. How long until that quest? Spies in a day. Have we got people on one on plant cut? See, look, we have a lot of growers. Let's put your growing down to... Oh, okay, it's already... It's... Just ignore me. Because we just need the woods to obviously fuel the generators while all the mad animals are there. Crow, come down and haul this wood. Do you reckon that'll be enough wood? Probably not. But I don't know how, how long do we have? 20 hours. Okay, let's try and cut a bit more down. This is a good opportunity to obviously get another power source, which would be obviously really, really super cool for us. But I just I don't want obviously power to go down because then we're crippling ourselves with moods by making it negative. So And we aren't no negative Nancy's on this channel. We are positive Percy's. Right, haul that quest. How long? 17 hours. No, get them to haul all this. If we can get like 500 wood, I'd be like quite happy with that. Lobster, come haul that. I think at night. Yeah, got 15 hours left. I think at night I'll probably start bossing them. Or probably accept the quest, I mean. Okay, let's shut that wall, sh shut that wall, shut that door, shut that door. I know you two are chilling, but this is more of a priority, I'm afraid. Then undraft. Everyone stay inside, which gives us a chance to obviously do stuff inside our base, which is, you know, it's okay. Quest, and then we're going to accept it for that power cell. I imagine the power cell isn't going to generate, like, a groundbreaking amount of power, but the fact why are you is our zones. There we go. I think our defense was a little bit. I'm sure that's what our defence was like. I can't even remember. Did we accept the quest, yeah? Yeah. Problem is they're going to get a lot of negatives now. Got to sort out temperatures in here at some point. You just need a vent that goes to the outside, to be fair. That's all we need. 
especially for the hallways. Because obviously we've got these two coolers that are pounding in here, which isn't the best setup in the world. Okay, lots of things getting done, armour getting made. Debating whether to tell people just to wear helmets all the time, but... The cowboy hats are so cool. We're going to need like a war outfit or something. Dumped that right in the doorway, perfect. Alright, we do need reset. We, can we do work drive yet? No. Ah, it's because we used combat commands, yeah. So you use one of them and then it obviously goes into cool cooldown for everything. We've got some swords, so we'll actually be able to... We need to use some of the steel. Not really anything we can use it on at the minute. We just need to get through to research. Like, getting a smelter in, like... Not really going to do much for us. Like, you're making blocks. Perfect. Well, we accepted the quest. Oh, they will arrive at Hope City in 21 hours, so in the next hour they will arrive. As the manhunting pack arrives, if you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.